In this video, we're going to take a look at my investment plans for the month of October 2024 in consideration with everything that's happened in September and what we expect for Q4 and the remainder of the year of 2024. My name's Nate. I'm a popular investor on the brokerage eToro. eToro is a great platform to invest on. If you want to get started investing, comment below. If you have questions, we can discuss what eToro is like. But for now, let's dig into the video. So September has strangely been a strong month. Now, seasonally, September is usually a weak month in the stock market. Uh, it's been down for the past four years. The last time it was up was 2019. And even before 2019, seasonally, September is known as a weak time uh, in the stock market. August, September, uh, October, it's usually a rough, very volatile period. And now not all three months are down uh, consistently, but September usually is. As we go into October, with September having been a positive month, uh, well, with one day of investing left, uh, we're suspecting September is going to be positive unless it tanks on the last day. Um, but with September being a stronger month than usual, I'm expecting October to be uh, volatile. Now, as I mentioned earlier, volatile doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be down. It just means it's going to be a, a lot of movement. September, if you remember, uh, started out down that first week, really down, like the market was very, very volatile and and ended the week down uh, significantly. Our portfolio was down just over 6% at the end of the first week in September. And now with one day left, we sit up over 2% uh, for the month to date. So I'm suspecting October is going to be quite uh, volatile, especially with everything going on around the markets. September, we saw the we saw the Fed cut rates by half a percent. Not sure if now people are expecting another cut, but not sure if the Fed is going to cut rates uh, in October, November, but may wait till December to cut rates or um, early next year to cut them again. So I could see uh, October being a bit more volatile than September even was. However, my expectations into in Q4 and into the remainder of the year is a rally to the year end. But we're planning we're going to be adding funds to our portfolio on eToro for uh, two times in September, uh, in October, sorry. We'll be adding funds to our portfolio and we're going to be investing into ETFs. Uh, so a broad base uh broad-based portfolio where we're going to be moving some of our single stocks and they're putting our new investments into ETFs to really diversify and give a stronger stability in a time where the stock market could be a bit more volatile. So these ETFs are things like VTI, which is Vanguard's total US, uh, uh, total US uh, stock market into one ETF. Uh, VUG, which is Vanguard's growth ETF, about 600 companies that um, all usually outperform the GDP, the gross domestic product, which is what makes it a growth a growth company. These are two of our main ETFs that we're going to go into. As always, we will sell. We will still have a portion of our portfolio that's in single uh, stocks. If you want to start investing or have any questions about investing, comment below. If you have questions about eToro. Let me know. Uh, follow along, subscribe if you haven't already. Love to invest and be on our journey together. But we'll see you in the next video.